Apollo Hospitals Group operates uh, and owns one of India's largest network of hospitals. But since 2008, it's all also operating a network of REACH hospitals that operate in underserved regions of the country and cater to people at the base of the pyramid. Apollo Hospitals has won the G20 Challenge on Inclusive Business Innovation and Dr. K. Hari Prasad is Chief Executive Central Region with Apollo Hospitals. Sir, congratulations. Thank Describe you. the innovation. Describe what's at the heart of this inclusive business model. When, uh, in our mind, Apollo Hospitals, which started 30 years ago, was itself an innovation because at that point of time, uh, advanced healthcare was not available in the country and people had to travel abroad spending a lot of money on uh, healthcare and very few people could do that. So Apollo Hospitals actually set off a trend where advanced healthcare was avail made available in this country but for many many years it was limited to the larger cities and the metros but as all of us know in India the major section of our population lives outside the metros in the semi-urban and rural areas and despite um, a significant investment and uh, uh, input into healthcare, most of it was restricted into the metros, big cities. Big cities. So, we wanted to take it to the next level by actually taking healthcare where it was required. And if you actually go out into the semi urban and rural areas, there's some form of private, I mean, primary and secondary healthcare which is available. But absolutely there. no tertiary. Absolutely no tertiary. And uh, Either people have to travel to metros and a lot of people can't afford that and lives were being lost. And the disease profile is more or less similar for somebody living in an urban or in a rural area. I've got a sense of the cause, but what was the innovation? What did it take to go from the big cities to these underserved regions? Did it fundamentally change the way you were operating your hospitals? Yeah, it, it was a major change from what we were doing. Uh, because one, we needed to make the model relevant to the local population uh, in terms of the need of healthcare, in terms of the cost of healthcare. These were two very critical things. But at the same time, there was no compromise on the quality of healthcare that they were getting. So, what we actually did was we brought down the capital investment required per bed in the rural areas. We cut out the frills. There are a lot of frills in a tertiary care hospital in a large metro but we did cut out the frills. And uh, th then what we did was we changed the operating cost model also, because in a uh, metro, the way the doctors are engaged with the hospital is significantly different. We changed that model and the way the doctors are engaged in a rural hospital or a reach hospital is different. So all these things actually brought down the costs and we were able to offer the same quality of care for the same procedure with the same equipment at a significantly lower cost. So today, what is the reach of the REACH network? Right. Now this, in our mind, was a risky model because no one had ventured into this of taking tertiary healthcare into a, outside the large cities. So we did the first pilot in a place called Karim Nagar, which is very close to Hyderabad. For which you've won the G20. For which we won the G20, right. Business innovation. And the good part of that was um, uh, it did break even financially in the first year. And uh, we were also fortunate that in Andhra Pradesh there is this Arogya Shri scheme which provides uh, community health insurance and uh, the affordability was not a major issue in that region. So that success led us to believe that this is a sustainable model which needs to go across the country. So we've now got six hospitals uh, in a Andhra Pradesh and Tamil Nadu and now we have another six which are in the pipeline. But the goal of our chairman is to have actually 25 to 50 hospitals in the next three to five uh, years. How are you going to get the doctors to these hospitals? I'm sure it's your biggest hurdle or that's, challenge. That's the I mean, that's what challenge. it boils down to. Absolutely. And I guess that's a challenge even in the metros. Indeed. So what we've done is um, we have a lot of post-graduation pro programs in our major hospitals. So once a guy passes out and gains some experience, uh, we send them to the REACH hospitals. They work there for three to five years and they, they come back into the larger hospitals at the end of three to five years. So there's actually an incentive for these guys to go and work there because they're looking at a career growth and they have a path which is laid out for them. 
finally, if you had to admit, and I know I'm going to force you to admit, but if you had to admit to one sort of limiting block as you expand, would it be capital slash finance slash risk appetite, or would it be human capital? Which of these two do you think is going to be more of a limitation as you expand? It's clearly the human capital. See, because it's not just the doctors, it's the nurses, it's the technicians. There's a whole team which works there, and uh, that would be the limiting factor when we actually want to scale up big time. One of the reasons we've been, we're trying to be very careful in the manner which we are scaling up is to make sure that we don't compromise on the quality, and finance is not an issue. It's always the human resource which is the issue right now. Well then, I think it's appropriate to, for me to say all the very best Thank you. as you journey on. Thank you very much.